Hello, video number seven, and I do believe this is going to be the, the last in the series because our next meeting is coming up pretty soon, and let's dive straight into it. So, uh, Diane Carlo Magno over at Heads Up Salon asked a great question, and I thought it was good enough that it made sense to, to make one more video in, in the series, which is, um, how do SEO press releases make a difference? Uh, and it was in the context of a conversation of essentially her saying, you know, that she felt like she had to, to go out on faith uh, to just believe me that somehow magically all of this is going to make a difference. And I assured her that it, the, there, there's uh, very limited magic <laughs> involved uh, and that it's um, so this goes into like the, the SEO side of it um, more so than the press release side. Um, so on the SEO side or search engine optimization, what Google, Yahoo, Bing, you know, all of those uh, work on it to a large extent um, is the, the, the backlinks or the, the links from one website to another. So um, like in this case, it's from, um, let me see if I can find it. So here's the, the other slide. Like it would be um, that when the press releases are created, uh, they appear on Associated Press. Uh, ABC, N NBC, Fox, Yahoo, etc. So those uh, press releases appear on those websites and they point to your properties. So that is a, a search engine optimization approach. Again, Google, Yahoo, Bing, all of those expect to see real businesses to have quite a nice variety of links and, and to see those links created on a regular basis. It should not be any huge surge of activity and then a drop off. It should be an ongoing type of thing. Um, so again, uh, that's that's the search engine optimization side of it. The, the real world side of it, or the, um, I guess to, to say it another way, is the, uh, the if we think of it just as marketers and advertisers, your, your business or your client's businesses, whoever is featured in these press releases are literally in the news. Um, and so there are prospects, there are leads who will see this and there are existing customers and old customers who see your, or will have an opportunity to see your press release in the news. Um, and that could stir their memory. Like, hey, I really need to give them a call. So that's, you know, so that brought on the second question of does this work for everything online? And th that was in the context of uh, talking about using press releases specifically to be able to increase the, the rankings of a Google Maps location. I um, mean, we normally call that a Google My Business property, but I, I agree that whether we say Google Maps, Google My Business, essentially the, the same thing for this particular purpose. And the answer is that press releases work on whatever you point them at, and it's all a matter of how much competition there is above you. So in the example of a Google Maps location, um, that for um, any given keyword, when somebody goes to, to Google, um, or they're, they're using uh, Google Maps uh, to try to find, uh, you know, Italian restaurant near me. Um, you, the, the more press releases you do that feature that, that link to your Google Maps, your Google My Business, uh, the, the photos in your Google My Business property, that will, you know, with all those links coming in from properties like these and many, many more, um, that will improve your, your ranking. Um, so it really does make a difference for all of those properties. And I just want to, to highlight this again, like because I think we covered this was either in the first or the, the second video. So even if you know you kind of put aside the, the actual search engine optimization advantages for your business or your clients' businesses and kind of think about this for just a minute uh, as a business owner and an entrepreneur, you again you can be using these press releases as uh, deal sweeteners, uh, which is to say it gives you an opportunity to add SEO press releases as a white label service to other things that you're selling um, to sweeten it up, make it easier for the client to sign on the dotted line, you know, closing, uh, hence close more, more deals. Um, sometimes it's even just bragging rights. Like if you have a, a client or a prospect who's just super excited about the opportunity to, to see their name in, in the news. Well, 
<laughs> sign them up for, for press releases. That'll do it. Um, when you have, or you or your, your clients or prospects have a product launch, hook them up. You know, press releases are an excellent way to go when you, you have a client or a prospect who's doing a product launch or a new service launch. Uh, if you need to reboot a relationship, meaning that there's a, a client that you used to do a lot of business with and you just haven't had an opportunity to do business with them, give them a call, you know, have lunch with them, have breakfast with them, you know, a cup of coffee and talk about um, getting their name, their business in the news with some press releases. Um, some, sometimes it's just a matter of offering a new solution. So it can be an existing client and you're just looking for a way to, you know, ring them up, you know, give them a call and just say, hey, we've got a, a, this new solution. We're doing uh, press releases and, you know, would it be okay uh, if we just had a, a brief conversation about how this can make a difference in your business. Uh, again, I realize that that's kind of looking at it through the lens of uh, web design agencies and web development companies and marketing and advertising. Um, so may not apply to you, but um, either way you, you slice it, amp it up. Uh, that's what we're saying more and more. So when you, you think about everything that we talked about here, uh, these press releases are an awesome way to, to amp up your power online and, and leverage the, the power that we talked about on all of these properties. And again, this is just a small sample. You know, whenever you do a press release, uh, you'll get a press release success report that shows, you know, all the, the places where it was picked up. And like I said, hit me up. <laughs> Happy to, to catch up with you either in person or you know, over the phone, uh, we can have a Skype call if that works well for you. And uh, looking forward to catching up with you again real soon. Take care.